I'm flabbergasted. I haven't slept, really, to be honest. Truthfully, I haven't. I'm sort of, I probably look a bit bags under the eyes now. Um, because it's sort of an iconic part of our culture. And, like, my granddad knows about it. My dad knows about it. I mean, what, it's been going since 1963. And, um, and I, I think it, it, it sort of has the... the um, the iconic kind of status that Robin Hood or Sherlock Holmes or and I'm sort of taking that on that's my responsibility it's exciting nerve-wracking exciting exciting stops me sleeping <laughs> what I did actually when I got the role is I paced around the room for about three days because I didn't know what to do so I'd sort of just get up and then I'd come back and then I'd sit down and then I'd watch a bit of TV and I'd just sort of smile and go on the doctor and then uh, oh it's weird it's weird it's weird it does weird things to you. A complete nightmare not being able to tell anyone because well because obviously it's like any secret you sort of it bubbles up inside you and the longer you keep it the more mad you go I think and and the more you're trying to suppress it and then I'll be in my flat watching the TV and sort of Doctor Who will be on and my flatmates there and I'm watching it going God I'd love to share the one the new Doctor <laughs> but I can't you know and it's um but it, it, it it's also quite exciting because it gives me a sense of mischief that I know something that the rest of Britain doesn't know just for a bit you know privy to you know, cool information, as it were. I had to tell someone I was going mad, so I told my dad. Um, because I just had to tell someone, but it is, it is. It's like a giant secret um, that is hugely significant and, and yeah, yeah. Well, he was rather flabbergasted. He sort of laughed, really. Um, and he's very proud because he loves the show. And then he started talking about Tom Baker and his references. And that's the, that's the thing. My whole family have references for it. And when my granddad finds out, I don't know what he's going to do with it. He's going to... He was just... He was immensely proud, yeah. And, and excited. And, and, I mean, kind of what do you do with information like that? It's such a... You know, you start, you know, I'm going to be playing the doctor. <laughs> Even I say it now and it freaks me out, in a good way. Um, and, uh, yeah, he, I mean, he was, you know, excited, proud, elated. I don't know, I just sort of did my best and I tried to do it, I tried to give my version, you know, uh, and be brave with it and make brave, t you know, kind of choices and, and, and um, it was very surreal though because again I couldn't tell anyone about it um, yeah and it was bizarre bizarre process I've never had an audition like it really I had quite a lot of scenes to learn and I got the scenes the night before so I had sort of four or five scenes to learn and I and I mean there was too many lines you know to learn all the lines the night before so I just had to sort of know my way around the scenes as much as I could uh, and we sort of practice the scenes, as it were, and, and I'd get some notes and we'd have a talk about it. Um, I wish I could tell you what was in the scenes, it's quite it's fun, there were, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on. I have read two scripts, I've read episode one and episode four. Am I allowed to say that? Um, and they're brilliant. Uh, yeah, they rock it long, and he's a brilliant writer, Stephen, funny writer. And it's, um, yeah, I mean, I can't say a lot about them, but you're in for a treat. <laughs> I've got this wonderful, this wonderful sort of journey in front of me where, where I've got this kind of six months to build this, this, this time lord, you know? And um, that's such an exciting prospect because I love that part of being an actor. I love the discovery of it and the, the being a detective bit, um, and that excites me hugely. It's, it's, yeah, but I don't know. I've got to build them up. I have been warned about sort of what to expect 
And I think that David's going to be quite a good source of information for that as well, because obviously he's dealt with it with great grace and sort of dignity and, uh, and enthusiasm. And that's what it is about. I mean, and also I, I think you work so hard uh, as the doctor on Doctor anyway. You don't really get any time to be in the public eye. I don't know. Um, but I, yeah, I have talked to a couple of people about it, but I don't know. I'm just going to concentrate on the words on the page and let the rest unfold. Mm -hmm.